What is going on, everyone? My name is Chris, and we're the Robot of Doom 5, and welcome back to episode 26 of our Open Fusion Let's Play. In last episode, guys, we acquired this little one right here, our little Bubbles Nano, and we wrapped up 99% of the Wild missions in level 15. I completely forgot that we have a nano enhancement project mission that we have to do there but we're not going to do that just because we're here in the downtown area we're going to start off with um some nano enhancement project missions okay objective improve number one nano okay improve max nano and improve the scotsman nano so we have to head over to townsville park i've been calling it townsville center for the longest time but we should we should be able to get our demongo nano also, I forgot that we have our guide mission, too. So, guys, if we really, really, really speedrun this mission, or, yes, kind of speedrun this, and we get some good drops, we get some good RNG sort of things, I don't know if it's called RNG or R and R, we could probably hit level 16. And then I'll upload both episodes 25 and 26, which is this tomorrow which will be the 28th which will be thursday and um guys if we grind this fast enough we could hit we can hit 20 if i go quick enough if i go quick enough and efficient enough um i'm off work for a couple days if you know if you can understand what i'm saying i'm okay i I'm okay, I'm not going to say anything else, but um, I got a couple days off work, so it gives me time to record, gives me time to, you know, relax for a bit, get some time off. The only thing I hate is, is that I can't go swim. Sucks. But anyway, let's not talk about that in case I get in trouble for some stupid reason. Also, I never realized that these two buildings are, like, leaning. But yeah, guys, there's the fissure, which will be... Where we'll be in next level, which will be 16. Oh, someone's getting attacked. Oh, there's the forearms, Nano. That'll be ours in a couple of missions. How? Um, oh! Oh! This is stupid, yeah. So, <laughs> this is something I never understood. You, you're you able to finish the mission, or you're able to, like, move on in the mission with uh, Grandpa Max and uh, number one when you touch down. But for some reason, they decided to put the Scotsman, the Scotsman's, like, um, little bubble or, like, beam or thingy. All the way by the entrance to the uh, infected zone. And I don't get why. Like, it makes zero sense. And I don't get why none of the versions of the game fixed it. It makes zero sense. Like, come on. Just, ugh, whatever. Just, say la vie, say la vie. Also, I'd really like to know how these islands are fine. Yeah. Apparently, I wasn't in Townsville Park before, even though I was. Okay, so now we have to go all the way back over. Oh my god! Oh, jeez. Yeah, I'd like to know how these are flying. Hey, you guys remember these monsters from uh, level 4 in the uh, junkyard? Yeah, they're back, and these guys are meaner. Yeah, they're like little a-holes. I hate them. They're pricks. Okay, um... Yeah, we could, we could do pretty good. It feels like it... Well, I'm recording this right after I um did episode 25. I got, like, a five-minute break. I went and got some water. I got, like, a little stretching. I watched some Mystic 7 stream. So let's just go through. All right. Let's do that. Okay. Actually, yeah, let's take that. I just received an urgent message. Heavy hunters are going to attack the shoppers at Townsville Mall. Can you hurry to the mall and stop them? All right, we also got a guide mission. Go to the future. Wait, oh. Okay, that's interesting. 
Maybe I should have accepted that first. Because then I wouldn't have to go boom, back and forth, back and forth sort of thing. You know? Oh, goodness gracious. This is one of the most interesting infected zones. This, I, I'll say this... This is the most interesting one in the downtown district. Because it has a story. The one in the suburbs, I would say, is probably the junkyard. The wilds, I would say, is Monkey Volcano. I would say it's between Monkey Volcano and actually um, the Hini... Hini Baba Temple, some some ruined temple sort of thing. Those. Are you serious? Proceed with caution. The park is badly infected, and the surface is treacherous. Well, no dash diggly damn. Okay, let's jump down here. In Mojo's Volcano, I would say, has some um, interesting story behind it. Oh, they have your satellite phone. Interesting. Oh, we learned about that last last level. Okay, come here. Come here, little Velociraptor. Yeah, yeah, it's a raptor. I was going to say T-Rex, but you're a little Velociraptor. Well, yeah, we'll be seeing some T-Rexes later in the game, guys. Yeah, they have T-Rexes. Or Tyrannosaurus Rexes in this game. And they have some Triceratops, some um, Pterodactyls. What else did they have? Yeah, they added a lot of creepy monsters later on in the game. Oh, uh oh. There you go. Thanks. Make your way back here. I needed to talk to my grandson right away. You. So you could have. Borrowed mine and just called him. Could have borrowed number one. Or the Scotsman's. Or even a candy operative. But no, I had to go do your dirty work. Alright. Let's go complete this mission. Good work recovering my satellite phone. Now I should be able to reestablish my contact with Ben. Fuse keeps tampering with our equipment. Well, that's on you for not keeping track of your stuff. Alright, um... Gonna get a drink of water while we fly. And that's something I also don't understand. Why they never... Like, look on the map. Look on the map. Here's City Station. Here's Townsville Park. So we can fly from here to here, then to there. We can also fly from T City Station down to Orchid Bay. We can also fly from City Station to Tech Square, Mojo's Volcano, and Offworld Plaza. But we can't fly here to here. It makes no sense. We go through one, two, three, or one, two, but we can't go here. I don't get that. Just, ugh. Um, uh-oh. My mom's giving me a call. I have to call her back in a bit. I'll text her and say, can I call you in a bit? Can I call you back in a bit? Hopefully she says yes. Um, I was trying to actually set up some information on some stuff. And uh, for people... Wait, what? Why... Okay. Look for the heavy hunters nearby and make sure you get rid of them. You know what? Maybe I won't. Okay, cool. I can call her in a bit. So yeah, it looks like once this is done in 50 minutes, uh, we should be good. This should be done at 5.06. Alright, let's defeat some heavy hunters who are right here, so we don't have to go as far out as number one wants us to. Alright, let's defeat these guys. I'm trying to see what his left hand is, because yeah, the fire hydrant. I don't know what his other hand is. Oh, goodness, guys. Good show. The mall is safer. Thanks to you. Please come back. This is... 
this is an interesting line. Like a mission line. Is this the one? Uh, I'm trying to think if this is the one I believe we do. Go fight a certain guy. Also, hey, leave a comment down below who your guys' favorite Nano is that I've acquired right now, meaning from Buttercup all the way to Bubbles, and who's your favorite Nano in the entire game, whether it's in um, the OG game, in um, the Academy, in Retro. I mean, Retro only had like three, four more. They had Runty, Computress... Um, Belladonna and uh, the Unstable Nano. Comment who's your favorite Nano. Yeah, just comment who your favorite Nano is and why. I'd like to know. Seriously, I'd like I'd like to start like getting conversations with you guys. All right. You know, okay, you did an excellent job. Kids, kids can shop a little safer now. I think the candy store is going to have a big sale in your honor. I wish you were able to get his. His outfit. That would be pretty cool. You can only get his glasses, though. Which sucks. I mean, it's still cool. You can get number one's glasses, but at the same time... I, I, I legit would like the rest of his outfit. Oh, Admiral. That's something I've never completed. The uh, Admiral line. Um, let's see here. We don't need you. Making sure I delete the right stuff. What is this? 16. Let me fight. Oh, 16 guy. Oh, the Dire Raptors. That's right, that's right, that's right. Um, okay, let's move this here. That there, that there. Awesome. We got a lot of shoes and pants, but we don't got a lot of shirts. Interesting. Alright, so we'll go return um, these missions in. Um, trying to think. We got a couple missions here. Yeah. Yeah, we can honest to God get level 16 done. If this is a short episode, guys, oh, oh well. Also, wish me luck tonight. I mean, this will be out before tonight, obviously. But wish me luck tonight, guys. I'm doing um, a raid hour for Shiny Entei. Uh, ow! Oh, damn. That hurt. Shoot. Ah. I recently cut my nails in my right thumb and pointer finger. I cut a little too, little too much, and um, yeah, I kind of like pushed back some skin, or like I cut too much to where like there's some sensitive skin. So like I kind of like can't use, I can't use those fingers like to open stuff or do other things. Okay, all right. Those are just super, super easy. I'm just giving them like the glasses, the Hawaiian shirt, and bagpipes. All right, let's go back to downtown because that is where um, we need a mission. But yeah, it's it's really really painful. I mean, if you guys have ever cut your nails and um, have cut them too much to where you have uh, you like look at your nail and like under your nail that skin, if you like cut too far under there yeah that's what happened to me and i legit thought i didn't but apparently i did for my pointer finger and my thumb i mean not as much on my thumb but a lot on my pointer finger so it, it hurts it really really hurts so i have to like use my left hand to like open bottles um cut stuff when i'm at work doing stuff it's not that fun i mean i can game pretty well it doesn't bother me because i'm not like pressing down and stuff what's up bubbles and mayor all right what the deal have you ever seen my fresh dill garden behind city hall it's wonderful the monsters think so too even though they don't like pickles they still want to kill my dill okay befriending bubbles part one or two the park has a giant crack in the ground and everything is polluted the animals are fleeing and fuses monsters are terrorizing them i need some help Oh, we can't go another. We always go over the. Hang on. 
Okay, cleaning up City Hall, part one and two. Mayor wants to have an award ceremony for the bravest kid in town. Fortunately, the monsters stole our decorations. Can you get the back? I mean, guys, we... Every episode, we get a wing from Bubbles. Did we last episode? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, we did. Yeah, we did. Yeah, we did. Because I got Bubbles Nano. Okay, so we're actually going to do... um. Uh, the what the deal because it's literally like an easy one mission also we'll learn about that thing over there and if you guys remember from like episode three or four in this let's play in the future you'll you'll recognize that it looks vaguely familiar we, we're not going to be done with that yet we got a couple little um, things we got to do about it all right the unicycles are about Oh, I get what he's saying. They're about. Teach them lesson about being nice. Alright, pr Professor. Alright, Mayor. Okay, well, I wasn't going for you. I was going for your friend who might kill me. No, 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 no. Oh, my God. When I thought this couldn't get worse, we're back here. Literally, we were here three levels ago. What the heck? Feels like we haven't been here forever. Feels like I've never wanted to be here. Freaking habitat homes. We're just leaving. I mean, we're just straight leaving. Maybe that's also why I should always have a shatter gun on me. For crap like that. I think my brother's on me here. Oh yeah, my brother's on me. He worked till four. I was like, what's that noise in my house? I'm like, uh, am I getting broken into right now? No, it's my brother. I'm not getting broken into. If this video doesn't see the light of day, you guys know that I am dead. <laughs> I'm not. Don't. Don't actually think I am. Who knows? Maybe I, maybe I will die. Maybe someone will watch this video like later, later, many, 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 many years later and I'm dead. That's dark to talk about. Why would I talk about that? Okay, let's let's get to City Point and go back. Uh, that makes me mad. That literally makes me mad. Oh my god, guys. Well, the hopes of potentially speedrunning this dropped a lot. Oh, don't you dare you. Don't you dare, don't you dare, don't you dare, you are, you are, you are. <sighs> Guys, I'm mad. Yeah, maybe there's a reason why they have shatter guns in the game for stuff like that. Maybe there's a reason why they have a heal nano in the game for stuff like that. Oh, but what I don't get is how the heck... Does that even make sense? Like, seriously? Also, there's City Station right there. You can see it in the light of day. Ugh. Hey, I seriously hope tonight when I go do Raid Hour, I get one Shiny Entei. Because I'd like to get one. Because I'm out of remote Raid Passes, so that's why I'm going. Because usually when I do Raid Hour, I stay at home. <sighs> but I'm out of remote Raid Passes, so I have to go... And I've been told there's a big group, so I can probably get all raids in, but realistically, I'm only going to get... I'm only going to go until I get one, maybe two, because I what I like to do is I like to have one for myself and one to trade. Like, if I ever want to do a lucky trade. my Something I'm working on now in Pokemon Go, I know we're shifting the topic here. Um, When it comes to shiny legendaries, I like to have one for myself and one to trade... And get a lucky trade out of it. So I have a lucky shiny Pokemon. Legendary. Lucky legendary shiny Pokemon. But. Uh, I, I have three. I have a shiny Giratina. Zapdos. And Articuno. Giratina being the best one I have. Because it's a. Um, it's a 100% IV. 
and it's shiny, and it's uh, lucky, which is one of the rarest things you can get in the game, period. I think you have like a 1 in, um, I think it's like 26 million chances to get that out of a trade. No, it was a guaranteed lucky, which makes it a lot easier. I think it's still just like 12 million or something, so it drops it almost by half, but still one of the rarest things to get in the game, if not the rarest. Is this a shower gun? Yeah, we'll, we'll rock this guy. I want to get rid of this one. Okay, those are both the same. Like, maybe I'll rock this one, but no, it's the same. Hey, we're back! Yeah. I don't know why it says welcome to downtown there. Uh, we're going back to defeat the unicycles. Sickles. Are they unicycles or unicycles? Un... Sickles. Unicycles. Yeah, unicycles. I don't know why I call them unicycles. I mean, they are unicycles. But are they sick? I wonder if they, they have, like, the flu or something. They have a cold. They have pneumonia. I don't know. Why do they call them sick? Or are they sick looking like they look rad? <laughs> oh my god, why are you guys turning? Why do you guys watch my videos? Seriously. Alright. Hey guys, I'm back! I'm ready to um, kill you all again. Oh. Let's loot your view. Okay. You know, I realized I could have lured and stunned both these two. So you could have done this, done this. I literally could have done that and I would have been fine. No, 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 no. How are you not going down quicker? I'm, I'm out. I'm peacing. Well, that was fine. How do you do? Come back and let me say thanks. Maybe I don't want to see a mare. Alright, uh, asphalt creeps. Okay. We're not going to do that yet. Actually, why not? Okay, defeat the asphalt creeps. They should be... Yeah, they're directly that way. Awesome. Lovely. Delightful. Oh, goodness gracious, guys. Uh, um, I don't know if I've talked about this in the later... Vi or in the past couple videos. Um... Me, I, if you guys don't know, I started this channel sort of off like a Minecraft channel. And when I got back and was recording mainly on my laptop, it became a Minecraft as Egg Wars and um, a SMP sort of server. And um, I played on Assured Bags 822. Make sure you guys go check them out on YouTube. Um, I was on his SMP, it was only me, him, and one other person, but really it turned out just becoming me. And, um, and playing an SMP was something I always wanted to do for the longest time. With, like, a group of friends, like, actually be part of, like, um, like a, like a, I don't know, not, not like a requested, but like a, a built community, like, you know, like, you had to be accepted into it. That seems coming. All right. Hey, the unicycles are mad and beat up the heavy hunters, and now they're going nuts. Go back to City Hall and fix it, like now. Okay. Well, I still have to defeat Aswell creeps. How many do I have to defeat of these? Just okay. But um, I've always wanted to be a part of one. Just like because I originally how I got into Minecraft more and more and more was um. I started watching the How to Minecraft series from like Pete and Muffles and those guys. I started watching that. Um, are these the asphalt creeps? Because if so, I'll start beating these guys up instead. I think these are not. They are. Yep. So we'll, we'll take out these guys for a second. Nope. But um, there's another one. I, I've always wanted to be a part of one because stuff like that is cool. You know, you're able to go to other people's bases. You can make shops. You can like build you can build like um stuff with each other okay we don't have the bunting and it's something i've always wanted to be a part of but uh i said but uh not but um 
recently, um, Assured has gotten accepted to this, uh, exclu not, it's like not really exclusive, but he's gotten onto a, um, SMP server, and he, he gave me the link, he showed me how I can apply, yeah, you have to do an application and do an in-person interview, which I find very interesting, but it makes it even more like, you know, you have to make it past certain levels to get in, um, he got me in it, so well, I'm not in the server yet, but I'm going to be making sure I'm going the right way, right? Yep. Um, I did the application, and now I'm waiting for them to review it, email me, and get like an interview. I believe it's just like a Discord interview or something. But I could potentially be joining in a SMP. Now, will I be recording it? Will I be Twitch streaming? Will I be doing what? Um, the answer is a potential no. Um, just because as of now, also awesome how that doesn't get me up all the way. As of now, I'm having a lot more success, in my opinion, with Open Fusion, and streaming hasn't been something that's been going as good as I thought it would. Um, I mean, would I still be interested in streaming it? Yeah! But at the same time, I don't think it'd be something that people would absolutely care about. Oh, oh, come on! Oh, there we go. So, I don't know if I'm going to stream it. If I do, uh, I'm going to start leaving uh, my Twitch. Oh, he got the shiny Entei. Mystic7 got the shiny Entei. GG, man. But GG, Mr. Oh! Good thing I moved. Alright. But... I don't know, if you guys wouldn't mind watching my streams on Twitch for that, I'm more than happy to do so for you guys. If you guys want to see me do that. Okay, if we go this way, we shouldn't interfere. Oh! Get up, 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 Okay, now we have to make our way through these guys. Oh my gosh. Yeah, there's a lot more monsters. They added a lot more. They don't need this much. Okay, come on, danger. Go down, go down, go down. No! Okay, 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 okay. Please don't come this way. Please don't come this way. Okay, get out, get out, get out, get out, get out. Found a ti you found a tiny handbag for a miniature dog. Great. Oh yeah, this is a also a silly mission line. Don't stop now, I think those creatures raided right the jewelry store. Um I, I I don't know guys. I don't know if I'll do it or not. I'm having way too much success with uh open fusion, like I said. Oh go, 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 where's the freaking boost pad? I feel like I just looked at one. Did I? No. I don't think so. Okay, well. Oh, wow. Interesting. Um. Yeah, I'm having too much success with this, in my opinion, and I don't know. Maybe I'll... Maybe what I'll do is, um... I'll Twitch stream it, and I'll upload just, like, a like a random bit of it be like hey this is what i'm doing if you guys want to come watch it on twitch here's the link maybe i'll do it like five times a week i don't know princess is trying to get the stuff from the unicycle she's so greedy also guys uh drink water we're 30 minutes through this recording oh delicious and nutritious <laughs> Okay, but, I mean, I don't know, I don't know, I, I don't know yet, um, I've not been accepted yet, I've not gotten any information from the group yet, but, who knows, who knows, who really knows, um, if I don't accept it, it's, it's totally fine, it's totally fine, you know, um, I didn't meet their criteria, um, they didn't think I was good enough, um, I don't know if these guys record, I don't know if these guys stream, I don't know any of them. I only know um, Harrison or Shirtback822 underscore. Make sure you guys go subscribe to him. He's awesome. 
He hasn't been making videos lately, but he's trying to make a comeback, I guess. Um, but, I don't, I don't know. It, it, it all depends on how good this does. How good it does. I mean, we, we got this Let's Play going. We'll get the Academy up. We'll get, op not Open Fusion. We'll get um, Worlds Collide if that comes out soon. I'm assuming that we'll be able to get all this stuff out beforehand. Um, okay, shut up. Ooh, got a little twitch. Okay, I'm trying to see. Maybe if we just go this way. Okay, we just have to probably defeat this guy, which shouldn't be too bad. Okay. No, nope, we have to defeat two. That's okay. That's okay. But, I don't know, would you guys be interested? Uh, legit, comment down below. I, that's something, again, also, make sure you guys are commenting so I know, like... Okay, okay, okay. Okay, they're going that way. No one's coming this way. No one's coming this way. Run, 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 run. Oh, he's up here! <laughs> Aha, you can't hop across build- oh, maybe he can. Go return the BFF bra bracelet. Princess needs to learn not to be such a brat. Okay. Well. Okay. Nope, not yet, not yet. Oh! Oh, we got the kickflip shorts! All we know are the pants. Oh, that was my favorite. I'm telling my daddy. Okay, um, do we have to do anything? Oh, heavy hunters? We can just go right to, um... Oh my god, I don't know why I like freak out, I'm like, oh my god, I'm gonna die, sort of thing. <laughs> How tall is this building? This is a pretty big jump up. Really? There's no... Here it is. Boom! Oh. Well, I guess we got this. Uh... Got a text from my boss. I'll read that after the video. Okay. So we have to defeat some heavy hunters, which are in this area over here, and oh no. We should go right for the tree. We won't get in their aggro range. I'm like slowly figuring out what monsters like aggro range is, which is pretty awesome. Okay. Alright, so here these guys are. We have to feed, not a whole lot, but a couple. Alright. Okay, we still need one more. We need the uh, streamers. Are we talking about Twitch streamers, or... What, what type of... Oh, 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 I forgot these guys did a lot of damage. Blue, you need a... Okay, we, we still need that. Yeah, they're talking about Twitch streamers, YouTube streamers, um, other type of streamers. Whoa, this is... That's required at 15? Dang. Oh, the Guardian line. I like the Guardian line. Is this better? Wow, that's worse. So is this. I, I, I dig these style guns. They're pretty cool. We're going to keep these, though. Because I've never completed that line. Also, that can be used for pretty good money. Okay, let's go back in. This is also a pretty long mission. Or, um... Oh, the unicycles! Oh! No wonder! Oh my god, that's a brain fart and a half. Yeah, that's why I can't read. Wait, right? <laughs> um, that actually... It, it's like a joke, but not a joke. I actually can't read that well. Um, yeah, you guys learn stuff about me. Yeah, I'm not that great at reading. If you haven't already noticed in my previous videos when I'm reading some of the text, I can't understand it. Alright, well, I can understand I just can't read it. Yeah. You guys are knowing a lot about me in this Let's Play. Yep. I was in a lot of um, below-level 
below grade uh, English classes, I had trouble reading. Like, I, I don't know why. I think... I don't think I was bad at it. I think that... When... Because in 6th grade, when I was going from 6th grade to 7th grade, we had to take this test to, uh... To, to find out, like, hey, if you had to be placed in what level class. Because they had three level English classes for 7th grade, which made zero sense. Yeah, like, why would a 7th grader need, like, three level classes back then? I mean, I understand it now, but it made no sense to me back then. So it was, like, below, below level, normal level, and or just normal English. And then lastly was... Uh, advanced or AP is what people are calling it and um the day I had to go test I actually was um I actually was pretty sick and I didn't get much sleep last night that last night yeah that night um there we go good thinking good thinking right there okay um yeah I didn't get good sleep I was thrown up the night before I was feeling sick I still had to go in and do it, and I just was out of it. I didn't know what I was doing. I couldn't read, and I just was like, to my teacher, I'm like, I just want to go home. I'm not feeling good. And she said, well, we need you to finish this test. Because this was so stupid. They had to bring him in the, the next day. So everyone had to come in that day and get, get the uh, um, middle school English test done, or like your... Yeah, to find out where you're going to be. Otherwise, and I was so upset, and I literally just went through it. I'm like, I, I, I know I'm going to get through it. I know I'm going to be in the normal level. I wasn't I wasn't trying to get into, like, the great classes. I was just like, hey, let's just, let's just, um, you know, not do anything too complicated. Let's just stick to what I know and not try to, like, overdo stuff. And uh, also, where do they? Really? Maybe I do go that way. Yeah, that might be the better choice. But I ended up getting um, one of the worst scores. I think I got like the worst score in my class, and um, I was, and I ended up being placed in the below graduate, not below graduate, the um, below level English class. And oh my god, was it annoying? I was in. I was in there for three years, basically. I was in there for my seventh grade, eighth grade, and ninth grade. And they, they never tell you this. So it's an English class. Reading and English and reading class. So basically English. Reading, writing, whatever they want to specify it as. And um, so you would think you'd have to, you know, pass with like an A to get out. You'd have to pass the test to get out, you know, just to prove. Hey, I know my, sh you, you know what? Let me get out of the class. No, apparently they don't tell you. Don't, they don't tell you this. Um, you have to get a B or above in all your other classes to to get out of it. You can completely fail the test in that class, but get Bs in your other class and and get out of it, which made no sense because when I was in that class, I had 110 percent because I was doing extra credit. I was getting. I literally never had. I was getting everything correct on my assignments. Also, that's open. I never knew that. And they never told told us that. And me and my mom got frustrated after two years. So we finally decided to call the school and say, "Hey, w what the heck? Why am why why are we still in this class?" And they said, "Well, you have to test test out, obviously." And we said, "Okay." And they said, "Well, you also also have also also you also have to have." Um, uh, B, a B or above in all your other classes. And we're like, when was that a thing? And they said, it's always been. We're like, no one's told us that. So, I was in there for one more year, really pissed off, really frustrated, because it takes up two of your classes. Because when I, well, it was my freshman year, was my last year in it, and it takes up two of your periods. Two, we call them class periods, because you go one through seven, and you get a lunch break, and a, um, a, uh, trying to think of, uh, like a, like an advisement, like a homeroom sort of thing. It, I cannot tell you guys how much I hated it. I hated it. I hated it. I hated it. Literally, I was in that class. Every day, 
for over an hour and a half. And it was pathetic, truly pathetic. I hated it. I mean, they're teaching you how to write, how to type, and other stuff. Oh, this guy didn't get stunned. Doesn't matter! Doesn't matter. Because guess what? We got the streamers. What's up, guys? I just came out of the bushes right there. Not doing anything suspicious in the bushes. Alright, let's go back to down... Or, yeah, City Hall. But... Uh... I mean, it was the most annoying class I ever had to take. And then, when I was going to this um, college near my house, I had to because apparently, um, even with this, this this college was. I'm not going to tell you the college's name just in case people know the college or want to go to the college. Um, they want you to take, take a test to test into their classes based off like, well, if you want to go in this field, which I wanted to go into um, advanced woodworking I or their wood shop, um, I need to take five years of math and four years of English. And I was like, I, I don't know why I need to take five years of math and four years of English. I literally have been doing this for the past four years. Um, let's just get rid of these missions. Thanks for getting those decorations back. I don't see how Mayor is going to have an award ceremony with all these monsters roaming around. The water around City Hall smells smells just pain awful. Plain awful. I hear the fellow at Camp Kitty knows a thing or two about plumbing. Can you go find him? Thanks. You were great. I don't know if I could have even taken on all those monsters by myself. I hope you can return these nests safely. Oh, you know, Bubbles, I just, uh, I'm just, uh, I'm just that good, I'm just that, you know, that, that strong of a guy, you know? You know, Bubbles, you know? Ah, she winked again! <laughs> I am cringy, please don't unsubscribe, or dislike the video. Please don't. Um, but it made, it was, getting back to that story, it made absolutely no sense why I had to do all this stuff when I literally... My senior year went to that college and took like it was like a I remember what it was, but you got to go like a bunch of kids who wanted to go to that college got to attend it for a day and you know the field or area they were going in or wanted to study, they gotta go in and basically work in there for a day. And I gotta work in their wood shop room for a day and um literally knew how to work every machine, how to fix every machine, how to clean every machine. I was like, okay. I know this. Awesome. The teacher loved me. The teacher absolutely loved me and said, I can't wait to have you in my class. And I was like, why the hell do I have to take five more years of math at your school to get in there? And they explained, well, that's our requirements. I'm like, well, your requirements are ridiculously retarded. So I ended up having to do it anyway because they wouldn't budge. Also, we got our Wilderness Express uh, mission line, which is basically the nano enhancement project for the wilds. Attention, your efforts are required to task the target entry Fuzzy Lumpkin. So we basically are getting Fuzzy Lumpkins. And guys, honest to God, um, I think, I think we're done after these two missions. Now, I will look it up on my phone. Oh, okay, so we'll go Toilinator and then Lumpkins. I like that, I like that. But... I, I ended up doing, I was like, okay, whatever, if this is what's going to take. I was taking two math classes, and I wasn't going to take two English classes, so it only took me two years. Well, really, it was only going to take me um, a year and a half to get into it, because I can only take two math classes and two English classes a semester. Yeah, it's really weird. I can only take, uh, it was one of the weirdest schools. I'm not going to get into it, but... um. They said, okay, but we also have to have you test into our English class because you, it shows on your record. I don't know how that, like, it was really weird. They said, um, it shows that you were in a below graduate sort of English class. I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hang on. All right, why does everyone come to me with their plumbing problems? I'm probably a super villain. Well, you don't understand. Okay, yeah, we have to go back to Leak Lake. We'll just go. Oh, God, that would have been bad. Yeah, we'll go this way. Actually, uh, that way is easier. Because we can go get lumpkins and just turn right around. Um, below graduate. Below level English class. And um, I was working that day. 
I was working, well, hang on, let me go back up. Um, I had to take a test, and I was working that day, and I was like, well, I have to go into work. Can I take the test tomorrow? The lady said, no, I have to take the test today. So I was like, okay, how long does it take? And she said, like, around an hour. I don't remember if I just repeated myself. I'm, like, tired right now. So I had to basically take the test and sprint over to work because I had, like, an hour to get to get this done because all I wanted to do was just a sign up for this not sign up for that I just wanted to get into my woodshop class woodworking whatever class and go get ready for work I didn't think it would be that long no I was there I speed speed ran the well I don't want to sound like I didn't give a shit about the test but you know I tried on the test I tried and I ended up getting a 79 and you needed an 80 or above to sort of what they said pass. So the lady pulled me out, or the lady talked to me and said, well, you got 79, and that means you aren't eligible to be in our normal level English class. I'm like, is there a way I can retest it where I, I'm not having to rush it to go into work? And she said, yeah, you can go, you can come back tomorrow. I'm like, I asked if I could take it tomorrow. She's like, well, we only allow retakes the day after. I'm like, that's, yeah, oh, this is why I hate this college. So I said, fine, whatever, what time? She said, same time. I'm like, but I work at that time. And she said, well, this is the only time I can offer. I'm like, well, this is stupid. So I had to come back. I had to tell my job that I was going to be a couple minutes late. And they said, sure, if you're trying to get stuff done for college, awesome. Just let us know where you're heading in. And I said, sure. And I have a little bit of anxiety, and I was like, I have to get this done. It's ma mainly test anxiety. I, like, shake my knees, my legs bounce up and down. I kind of, like, twitch. I kind of, like, blank out when I do stuff. Um, let me just make sure. Gosh, damn it. I kind of, like, blank on when I do tests. So when I did it, I, like, sometimes second-guess myself. But I ended up getting a 79 again. And the lady came over and said, so you got 79 again, so we can't allow you to be in our English class, our graduate, or like our normal English class. I'm like, okay, well, what? I was like, when am I able to um, retake it again? I'm like, is there any way I can retake it one more time? I was just stressed about work and yada, yada, yada. And she said, well... No, you can test out of the class, but until you test out of the class, you're going to be placed in that class. I'm like, this is absolutely ridiculous. Yes. Also, yeah, I should have went this way first. Why am I going all the way back here for freaking Leaky Lake? I hate this. Um, so I was ended up in, this is literally what the class level description was called. Below graduate English class. When it should have literally been called below elementary English class. Because when I kid you not, they were teaching us how to spell, how to write a sentence, what is a sentence, how to basically do verbs, pronouns, adjectives, adverbs, pronouns. I was like, oh my god. And here's the thing. It was a $4,000 class. And the only time the class was offered was from 6 p.m. to 9 p.m. And I lived 45 minutes away from the school. And I was pissed. And also, they decided to have the first hour from 6 to 7. It was just like the first hour of class. They decided to have 7 to 8 a break. So literally, the class is truly two hours long, so I'm paying $2,000, I was paying $2,000 an hour for that class. It was ridiculous. And, um, I, I, I went through the semester, I ended up getting 100% in the class. I don't want to talk to you either, Fuzzy Lumpkins. Um, I ended up getting all the way through the class, and I was like, okay, cool, 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 cool. I can finally test out, and apparently there was two versions of the test, well, the, 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 the test to, te to test out, that's a good, that's a tongue twister. Oh, he got another shiny, holy crap, dude, two shinies.
great. That means that to be. Can you give me both of those? Mystic, I will give you two million subs. If you, no, don't. I will never do that. Um, but apparently to test out of the class, you needed... What? It's so weird. So, like, the test... Oh, my gosh. I'm, it's, like, interesting to explain. But, um... There's, there's two versions of the test. The test out, and I had to take the reading one because I wasn't good at reading. Because the test, the test in to whatever class before, like for college, like, hey, this is what level you're going to be in. It also determines where, like, hey, this is where you're struggling. So it, it, it was kind of helpful, but also at the same time, it wasn't. Um, I needed, did I say the writing? No, I said I needed the reading. Um, the reading part of the test to test out because my writing was great. My writing was, I think, at like 100, no, not 100, um... It was around like 90 some percent. It was pretty good. But my reading was pretty bad. That's the reason why I failed. Okay. Really? Um, the teacher ended up giving me the wrong test. So I completed the test. And remember, this is a late night class. So I ended up getting the wrong test. And when I got an email letting me know that, hey... You actually tested. You didn't test out of the class. I was livid. I was like, "What the heck? Why did I get out of this class?" I, I mean, I passed the writing. I got um an eighty-eight. I got eighty-eight percent, and I was like, "Why didn't I test out of it?" So I called my teacher. I'm like, "What's up? I, I thought I tested out. I passed the requirement." She said, "Well, I accidentally gave you the wrong test." I'm like, "Okay, can I get the reading one?" Which is the one I needed. And she told me she gave me writing when I needed the reading. She said no. Because this was two weeks after. It was two weeks after the class. And she said no. You'll have to re fully retake the class again. So I'm spending another $4,000. For five months to retake that class. And I said no. And I immediately hung up. I called the school and said, look, I want my money back. And the school, the school never reached out to me. And I said, you know what? I'm done. I'm not doing that. Um, I ended up dropping my math classes. I, I, I've never been back to the school since. Never been. I, I obviously completed my math class because I already had signed up for a math class and I couldn't cancel it. So I went through the math class and I said, I'm done. I'm done with this school. I mean, it was a really, it was a really bad experience for me. And actually, last year around this time, I got a email and <laughs> letter from the school asking me to give a review because I they haven't seen me in a while. They haven't heard from me online in a while about signing up. And I wrote the nastiest review. I said. Um, your teachers gave me the wrong test, they refused, they were mean, they were snotty, they took money from me. The classes was actually two hours long when it should have been in, yeah, the class was three hours long when it should have been two, because they gave us an hour break. I mean, I just ripped them in half, still haven't heard back from the school. And it just, it just makes me mad, guys. It truly makes me mad that I spent God knows how much money, basically, to get nothing out of it. So... When people ask me what if I'm gonna go back to school or why aren't why aren't I in college, I just tell them like, cause I don't need to. I'm pretty well set up at my job where I'm at now. Um, I'm set up financially. Um, I got good stuff. I I got a good stable future. So it's not something I need, and it's, truly, it's not something I really care to do anymore. It's truly not. You know, there's zero interest in it anymore. You know, I got my dad. My dad's pretty good at woodworking stuff. He's made a lot of stuff, and if I ever want to do it, I can just talk to him and be like, hey, can we do this? And he'll say, sure. Alright? Bring to the prisoner to be mayor, I forgot. That's what he wants us to do. Uh, wait, what? Oh. That's uh, interesting. I got a really random tweet. Really random. 
Don't, I don't look at that. <laughs> Got like a random tweet from like a person saying, is it, is it weird to get laser hair removal on your eyebrows? I'm like, what? But yeah, no, I, I'm set up fine here. I don't have to go back to school. No. That's my little ramble. You guys got like what, like a nice 12, 15 minute ramble of me. And guys, oh, I'm thinking, because we have to go see, yep, we could honestly, guys, if we speed run this, oh, thank you for reminding me, Todd. I, I know there's a guy in the, in the vi who's watching my video right now whose name's Todd. Thank you for reminding me to use my buttercup nano for scavenge. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I've been forgetting sometimes. Oh my god. Okay, um. Okay, um, anything, like, actually cool? No, no, no. I want Dark Avengers shirt. Ooh, you know what? <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. This stuff we don't need. Blue, here, have a gumball. Nom, 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 nom. Yeah, we don't need, yeah, because we got kick kickflip there. I don't know, I've never, like, completed, like, um. Uh, like some like outfits. I mean, I've never completed the Sentinel one. I've never completed the Guardian one. I mean, Guardian and Sentinel are legit the same. It looks like, but oh, speaking of that, there they are, right there. Fifteen. So it looks like sixteen will be able to complete it, which is really really cool. Um, trying to think, is this everything? Oh, this smells delightful. I hope it would quickly sanitize and Dior. Dior is Dior. De, I can't read that. The moat, so we can have a proper award ceremony. Thank you. It looked like blossom bubbles. Oh my god, she's not gonna wink. Are you gonna wink? No, she's not. She's pissed. Okay. Um, I'm actually gonna look up on my phone real quick. Uh, just to see if we are indeed missing any. Oh, no. This might not be what I want. Oh, God, no. Okay, 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 okay. This might be actually easier. So we're 15. 15, 12, 13, 14. Okay, here we are, 15. So we did be for Nick Bubbles. Um, we did cleaning up City Hall, Fusion for Another Planet. We've done that. Uh, we've done Music and Mayhem, Mystery of the Meteor. Um, the Book of Prophecy, Trios Troubles, What the Dill, Wilderness Express. Guys, we can go get our Demongo Nano. Let's go out to Leaky Lake and get our Demongo Nano. That's actually useful. Maybe I'll keep that open. You should keep that open, guys. Why don't you tell me to keep stuff open that can help me out learn the long haul? Um, ooh, we got... I believe I have to come back? Alright, well, let's just do it right now. Why not? Okay, guys, we are on our level 16 nano mission. It is go, Demongo, go. The nano we'll be requiring is Demongo. Alright, and we got the Scotsman who's guiding us through this. Okay, when warriors go mysteriously missing, tis usually the work of Demongo, the soul stealer. Yet Jack bested him not too long ago. I suspect Fusion Demongo, tis the one responsible. One of his henchmen is told to be alive at Leaky Lake. So if you guys don't know, the Scotsman and the Mongo all are a part of the Samurai Jack storyline. Uh, we will be, well not storyline, um, cartoon show, or TV show, whatever. But, that is not. <laughs> but, um, we will be meeting the Mongo and Jack much later on in the game, like... Uh, what is he? He's like 31, 32. We'll, we'll be meeting him in like 17 levels. Is that right? Yeah, 17 levels. Wow, 17 levels. Jeez. No? Yeah, 17 levels. Wow, yeah, I did that math correctly. Look at me. Pat's on back. That hurt my finger again. Yeah, why not? We can make this a little longer. Let's just get through the Mongo. Because then, guys, we'll have uh, level 16 to do. Okay, this also sucks because I can't tell where I'm going. Um, no. Map. Okay, oh wow, we're going all the way down there. Oh, I remember this, I remember this, I remember this part. Oh, goodness gracious. 
It's kind of cold. I'm getting cold. I'm getting the chills, guys. I'm getting the chills. I'm kind of cold. Yeah, this one might be around an hour ten. So this is going to be a long recording. You guys are lucky. I'm being nice to y'all today. I'm feeling generous. Hey, I'm being generous to you guys. You guys should drop a sub. Be generous back. I'm kidding. Don't. It's generous that you guys are watching my videos. That's literally like. It literally makes my day when I see that I got like over like 20 views on a video or for the first episode. I I'm going to freak out when I see that we have over 500 views on episode one. I mean, just imagine that if you guys, if every single person watched my episode one subscribed, guys, we'd have over 500 subscribers. Oh my God, then we'd be super close to a uh, thousand and I could live stream on YouTube. Oh my God, that'd be so cool. Maybe I could get with, <laughs> I was gonna say, maybe, maybe I get so popular, I could play Among Us with Valkyrie and Saikuno in that group. Yeah, no, that'll never happen. Okay. Crikey, the wild clockfish are surrounding us. Help! Oh, that's the right, wrong one. Tis best for any warrior to help those in need defeat those wild cockfish. You know what, Scotsman? I shall. Yeah. I, no, I thought that was a big boy. No, it's a tiny boy. Alright. Let's def... Wow, we have to defeat... No, that's a big boy. That's a big poppy doppy. Oh, there's two of them. Maybe I can lure... Let's lure this guy. Come here. Come here. We're not going to use our stun. Okay, um... We should be okay. Let's lure them. Stun. Shoot. Uh oh, we might be in trouble. We might be in trouble. We might, we're in trouble. Oh, come on. I know the. Damn it. Well, I mean, yeah, we were close to this one. Not by a lot, though. Ah! Turtles. Snapping turtles. Yeah, kids, don't. <laughs> if you made it this far in the video, please type. I see a bear. Something bear. Oh my god, that was. <laughs> what what were you doing there, dude? Oh come on, let me let me let me pass. Let me pass. Okay, I know there's some here. Would it be better to kill the guys here? Yeah, I guess it would. You have to defeat five more, right? There's two right here I saw two. Okay, yeah. Okay, I hate when they get so close to where I can't truly shoot them. Okay, yeah. Hey, okay, guys, look how many I've defeated out of nine. Nice. Um, yeah, we'll defeat this one and then go. I think, I hope we don't have to go back and see a Scots, but if we do, guys, this might be longer than an hour ten. Seriously? Okay, I see one. Let's zoomy zoomy down. Oh, they were actually pretty close. We'll go for this one. Okay. Great job. Can you come see me at the jungle outpost, mate? Yeah, I will. 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 Bum, ba, lum, ba, 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 bum. Oh boy, this is gonna be a long one. Episode twenty-six is gonna be long. Even though I said I'd like to keep it to an hour, maybe if I didn't mess up with the unicycle stuff, we we could have been under an hour ten. We should be. I don't think I will have to go see the Scotsman. If we do, uh, that'd be pretty annoying. That'd be pretty annoying. I hope we don't, because if we do, this is going to be over an hour ten. It might be an hour fifteen. God, I hope it's not. I really hope it's not. This is one I don't remember, guys. We're, uh, no, we're not halfway. If we were, if this was uh, 32 levels, yeah, I'd be halfway. Come on. Um, let's just. Oh my gosh. Oh, what are these? What are these? What are these? Admiral. Oh. Admiral boots. Uh, do we have anything for Admiral? Yeah, we do. Yeah, we do. Okay, well, let's just. 
bring these down. We'll keep that. Awesome, awesome. Get rid of some of these Snapchats. Oh, God. Guys, I hope we don't... I hope we don't have to go see the Splitsman. Oh, my... I'm trying to stretch. You know, you ever have that feeling where you have to, like, crack your back? But it's, like, kind of so high up you can't, like, crack it, sort of? I've also never gotten, like, acupuncture. Is that what it's called? Acupuncture? Or someone, like... Cracks your bones or something? Cracks your knuckles? I don't know. Okay. Thanks for the assist, mate. The monsters in there are being controlled by a crazed fusion in the ki in, a, in a kilt. If you could track them down, you'd save us all a heap of trouble. Leaky Lake. A monster in a kilt, eh? Could this be our boy? Or it could be a girl. Don't assume gender anymore. Because people get pissed at you. Okay. So yeah, we don't have to, which is great. I just wish there was like an easier way to like head over to Leaky Lake. It's not that far of a walk. It's like a two minute walk. But it still sucks. Because you have to go through all this. As I say, all this. What do you want? Yeah, you can't even figure out how to walk. Stupid bug. The bug creep. The bug. The bug monsters in this game are really the creepiest to me, in my opinion. I mean, the Pacarachnids, the Mantises, the, uh... I know there's a couple of them. I can't think of them right now. I'm thinking of something else. I don't know what I'm thinking of. Oh, is Mystic eating a Gatorade bar? Huh. Interesting. Oh, it looks like Kyogre's and Groudon's might be the way to go. Also, hey, I'm replaying my um, Pokemon Pearl game on my uh, DS. That's something I haven't played in a long, long time. I have all three. I have Pokemon Diamond, Pearl, and Platinum. All right, with the the fusions and the effect zone, mate, watch out. I hear he's a real ringer. Well, he's never met me, has he? Uh, I hope he hasn't. I could just use that perp. All right, let's jump. Come on. All right. Should be, yep, right up here. So if we really, really speed run this, maybe we can get under 10. All right, guys. Fusion Scotsman's Lair. Let's go in and clap him. Look, tis the Fusion Scotsman. He's working for Fusion Demongo. Oh, no dare. Oh, yeah, Cockfish are in here. Yep, there they are. Where did you come from? Were you just hiding in the wall? Like a... Like the Flying Dutchman? Ah, I see. Yeah, they must be part of the Flying Dutchman. Because if you guys remember parts of Gabriel 2, their crew came out from the walls. Ooh. Sneaky, sneaky, sneaky fish. You can't outsmart me. I'm a robot. Also really helpful that blue stuns them. Really helps. Alright guys, we are about ready to complete level 16. Let's just pop this little creature's head. Alright, let's... Oh my god, look at that sword. Holy crap. It's a big sword. Are there any over here? Eh. You wanna watch me kill your master? Yeah, I do. You're... Oh, he, he's... No, I don't think he wants to. Okay, I'll kill him for you. He might have freedom. No, he doesn't. Oh my god, that sword's big! Don't hit me, don't hit me, don't hit me! Oh, oh, oh! Oh, that timing was perfect! Alright guys, we've acquired our Demongo Nano! His powers are Demon's Fire, which is a damage area. Damage area. Uh, he has a Hero's Strength, which is a Snare Self area. And Warrior's Resolve, which is a Revive. I always go with Demon's Fire. And guys, we have our uh, Forums Nano. We won't be doing that yet, because you guys know... Why we don't? We required... No, we haven't. I was gonna say we've required two nanos in this video. Nope, no, we haven't. You know what? Let's uh, where should we do this outro? Where should we? Let's just do it here. You know what? Let's just do it here. So, guys, thank you so much for tuning in to this episode of Open Fusion, episode 26. I know it's a little bit longer of an episode, but hey, we're now at level 16, 
and we're slowly making our way to level 17. Guys, thank you so much for tuning in. Please make sure you guys hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. Make sure you also hit the notification bell so you know when I upload an open fusion video. Literally, it's free, no cost at all. And also, comment below if you guys would be interested in me doing a Minecraft SMP Let's Play again. It's sort of like a survival multiplayer. That's literally what SMP is. I just rambled. Also, guys, thank you so much again for tuning in. Love y'all so much. Make sure you guys take care of yourself. Peace out. Goodbye.